So heading into CES, I got the chance to check out everything Dell was previewing for 2023, and there was some big stuff in the works, including redesigned Alienware laptops, some mind-blowing new monitors, and even some experimental concepts that could totally revolutionize computing as we know it. This is Luke, welcome back everybody. Real quick, it's going to be a busy week with us being on the ground in Vegas, checking out everything CES has to offer this year. So you definitely wanna hit that subscribe button right now and turn on notifications so you get all of the content we're going to be posting from the show as soon as it goes up. But for now, let's take a tour of everything Dell is serving up this year. Let's start with monitors because Dell had two really interesting displays to bring to the table this year. First up is this 6K ultra sharp monitor, which Dell says replicates the pixel density of a laptop screen on a 32 inch display. It also had a 4K webcam built right into the top that uses the massive new second gen Sony Starvis sensor, as well as having an IPS black panel, which Dell has started introducing on its higher end displays this year. This technology, which was made in collaboration with LG, provides 33% better blacks than your standard IPS. And even though it's not quite mini LED or OLED, that's definitely an improvement. My favorite addition though to this monitor is the little pop-out hub for your ports, which makes connecting a peripheral or headphone jack way more convenient. And now I wish every monitor had one of these. The second display we have to talk about is on the gaming side of things. And that's this 500 Hertz Alienware monitor, which is just insane. The company made a pretty big splash with its 34 inch QD OLED last year that I really loved. So it was going to be tough to follow that up this year. And obviously this little 25 inch monitor is all about speed and performance above everything else. Now, I'm not someone personally who could actually benefit from a 1080p 500 Hertz refresh rate. That's not me. But obviously Dell thinks there's a market out there for PC gamers who take getting a competitive edge very seriously. Is it overkill? Probably, but Dell says its esports partner Team Liquid are excited about the idea of an even faster display, and this is certainly faster. Let's move on next to laptops. And while XPS was a total no-show from Dell's announcements this year, that's not a surprise. The XPS 13 got a complete redesign last year after all, which included the introduction of the XPS 13 Plus and the 13 2-in-1. So the focus this time was all on Alienware, and there are some pretty big changes here. First up, the X16 and X14 both got a new look with what Dell calls its Legend 3.0 design. You've now got a silver aluminum lid, thinner bezels thanks to the 16 by 10 displays, and a new light ring with multiple zones of RGB goodness. These things look really slick. And you can definitely feel the influence of XPS here. And remember, this is Alienware's thin and light line, and I really like the changes to a more sophisticated and sturdy aluminum on the outside, especially since so many gaming brands have chased Alienware's aesthetics over the past few years. That's exactly what you wanna see from a company who's leading the charge in terms of design. On top of that, the X14 in particular, which remains the thinnest 14 inch gaming laptop out there, now gets a bump up in terms of its display and its graphics. I also got to check out the Alienware M18, the company's first 18 inch gaming laptop in a while. This bad boy is insanely chunky. It's over an inch thick at its biggest, and this thing is definitely uncomfortable to just pick up and move around with one hand. But obviously, the promise here is better performance and cooling, and we'll have to wait for our review unit to actually get a sense of that difference. But yeah, big old 18 inch gaming laptops are definitely back. The last bit on laptops I have to mention is an update to Concept Luna. Guys, this is really cool. The sustainability project was announced last year, but in 2023, the evolution is pretty remarkable. You can see an actual business model being built here. I basically watched an entire laptop get dismantled in under 60 seconds, and that includes the battery, the display, the entire motherboard, all without screws or connectors or anything like that. Taking it one step further, Dell also showed off an entirely automated manufacturing process and repair process that can inspect one of these laptops for bad parts and replace it, again, all in seconds. Considering the robot arm that you see here was running at 5% speed during the demo, according to Dell, that's pretty crazy. It's easy to imagine some kind of a laptop as a service that you pay a monthly subscription for, or even just being able to easily fix and upgrade your laptop yourself. The last major thing to talk about here is one of the most interesting, and that's the evolution of Concept Nix and the new Nix controller. Again, Nix was announced last year as a home server 
that could run your PC games on devices and screens all across your home without skipping a beat. But Dell clearly had larger plans in store for this project because this year they had an entire metaverse scenario running on a single NIC server from multiple rooms. You could create an avatar, collaborate with others in the same 3D space, either with a VR headset at a desk using a 3D screen and some custom controls, or just in front of a TV with some cameras and sensors. Dell made it a point that you should be able to collaborate in these 3D environments without necessarily having to have a headset on all the time, and I definitely agree there. Of course, metaverse stuff is super buzzy right now, and this was far from a complete illustration of this technology, but when it comes to Nix itself, the real surprise was this new controller. Basically, in enabling you to play PC games away from your actual PC, how you're gonna control these games is an obvious problem to solve, and the Nix controller is a pretty unique solution. On the surface, it looks like a normal console controller, but it takes cues from PC gaming in all sorts of little ways, from the two scroll wheels to the shift buttons on the back, both of which are there to make more complicated PC games actually play well. Guild Wars 2 was Dell's example, but strategy games and MMOs of all kinds are obvious candidates for needing a solution like this. Dell's also experimenting with things like haptic feedback shoulder buttons and variable resistance thumbsticks, both of which were really cool. And even though this is all just a concept for now, I love to see all these different attempts to translate the unique PC gaming experience to the living room in a way that just wasn't possible before. And that's about it for now, but that was not all Dell had to show. There was redesigned G-Series gaming laptops, some interesting new peripherals, lots more. But which of these new announcements are you most excited about? I wanna know, so head down into the comments, let me know what you think, and while you're there, hit that like button if you had some fun with this video, and I'll see you in the next one.